guys, the next anime season, summer 2024, is actually looking stacked. I mean, I've been seeing a lot of trailers on Twitter for the upcoming anime this season, and this shit looks insane. So I think it's that time of month where I let you guys know what I'm going to be watching and what I won't be watching. So we're on anychart.net here, it basically tells you what anime is coming out for what season. Anyway, so we'll give this website a quick scroll, we'll go through some of the anime, and I'll tell you what I'll be watching, what I won't, and what I'm kinda iffy on. So, starting off with Oshinoko second season, this is a definite yes. I have read the manga for this season, I was caught up on the manga for a very long time, I've kinda fallen behind now, but I will definitely be watching the second season. I don't think I need to spend too much time on that. The next one is interesting, it's Tower of God season 2. Now, I did watch Tower of God season 1, it's been a minute though, and my memory on it is a little vague, or, or foggy I would say. I don't know if I'm gonna watch the second season, it depends on, I guess, just the community, if like the community is talking about it and everybody seems into it, I might pick it back up and go into second season, but after the first season, I, I, I liked it, but I wasn't like the biggest fan, I was whatever on it, so I don't know if I'll be watching the second season of Tower of God. The next anime is Alia sometimes hides her feelings in Russian, I'm guessing this is like a rom-com anime. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's a it's a rom-com slice of life. I, I might check this out, I don't know what it's about, let me, let me read it. Ali is a transfer student enjoying popularity at her new high school, often supporting a, after sporting a cold shoulder while earning high marks in class, she ignores her nerdy classmate Kuze Masachika, except for when she blurts out a flirtatious line to him in Russian. Little does she know, Kuze understands Russian, though he pretends not to. Let's see where this wacky love story- Okay, that's- <laughs> that's kind of interesting. Um, it, who, which studio is this that's working on this? Is it Doga Kobo? I might check it out just because of the studio and it is the rom-com- It's the rom-com of the season. I'll- I'll give it a- I'll give it a first episode watch. I might not, like, continue with it though. We'll, we'll see. The next one is the Isekai Suicide Squad. That's a definite must-watch. Um, I've been waiting for this anime. It's being done by Wit Studio, a fantastic studio. Um, it's basically Suicide Squad meets anime- meets isekai. I'm, I'm watching that, like come on, that's that's an easy watch. The next one is one I really do want to watch, but I'm, I'm kind of torn on. It's Fairy Tale: 100 Year Quest. Now, I did watch Fairy Tale back in high school, I finished it, I even, I think I read the manga, I can't remember, but I do remember being really into Fairy Tale at one point, and this basically just picks up from where the anime left off, I believe. I do want to watch it, the only concern I have is how many episodes is this going to be? Is it going to be 100 episodes? Because if it's like 50, even if it's 30 plus episodes, I don't know if I have the time to commit to that, you know, that lengthy of an anime right now. So I'm, I'm curious. It, this depends on the episodes. It doesn't really say here how many episodes it has. It's being done by JC Staff. I don't know. I, this one is a maybe, depending on the episodes. The next anime is a second season. I haven't watched the first season of this show. I don't even know what this is, so I'm not going to be watching it. The next anime is called Gimai Seikatsu. From classmates to brother and sister living under the same- oh my gosh. After his father's remarriage, Asamura Yura ends up getting a new stepsister- okay, I don't even need to read this, I know what it's about, what's the genres here? Comedy, psychological, romance, slice of life. Studio Dean, I have I watched anything from Studio Dean? I, I don't know if I've watched anything from this studio. Um, let me go through there. Okay, yeah, I don't think I've seen anything from this studio. It does say they worked on Konosuba, I'm not sure. Okay, this one I'm not going to be watching, probably not. Unless like someone tells me this is like the shit, I'm probably going to be skipping on that. The next one I will be watching, My Dear Friend Nokotan. Now, this one I've seen all over Twitter. There's a lot of memes about this anime. It's being done by Wit Studio. I have no idea what this anime is about, but I've seen it on Twitter. Um, basically, all I know is that it's about deers and it's about this one girl that has like these deer horns. I don't know anything else, but it's I just know it's a big meme on Twitter, so that's the only reason I'm watching it. Let me read the synopsis quick. Girl meets elk girl. No one knows Tarako used to be a delinquent. All of her classmates only know her as the perfect student, but everything changes when Nokotan, a transfer student with antlers, enters her life. Antlers aren't the only thing strange about Nokotan. Her dear nose can sniff out- Okay, yeah. For the sake of this just being one of those weird anime, I'm gonna watch it. I, I don't know why, I'm just gonna watch it. So the next anime is Near Automata second season, which I will not be watching. I did enjoy the first season, but I stopped watching it after the hiatus, and I think I did come back to it after the hiatus, but I just wasn't feeling it anymore, so I probably won't be picking up the second season. This is why I say, be careful when you go on hiatus as an anime. It, it could literally make or break an anime for me. 2.5 Dimensional Seduction. 
probably not going to be watching this. This is an uh, it's an Ichi anime, probably not my cup of tea. Um, if this has like a lot of people talking about it, I might check out the first episode once again, but I'm probably not going to be checking it out. Okay, this video is going to take really long if I go through each anime individually. What I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through the anime I'm for sure going to be watching and skip the ones I'm not going to be watching. The next anime I'll definitely be watching is Wistoria Wand and Sword. That's a must. Like, everybody's told me this anime I need to watch. I know very little about the anime, but from the animation that I saw, it looked pretty good. And what people told me, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely be watching this. This one has a big fan base as well, so yeah, I'll check it out. Elusive Samurai, another one I'm going to be- Bro, there's so many anime. I don't know if I'm going to be able to watch all this. I, I have to definitely choose my anime very carefully, but I will be watching this one as well. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to watch like the first three episodes of all the ones I said I'm going to watch and then like select the really best ones. This is another one that um, I, I've seen on Twitter. Make Heroin Ga Osu. I don't know how to pronounce that, but this is another anime I've seen all over Twitter and the animation and art style in the trailer. I did see the trailer for this anime. It looked really good. What is this one about? So it says, uh, so this person is a high school student, a high school boy content to blend in with the background mob until he witnessed his more popular classmate, Ana Yanami, get dumped by her childhood friend. He felt like he had to try to comfort Yanami, but this led him to become entangled with other girls who have met defeat at love. Um, I'll, I'll check it out for the animation. I mean, the animation looked really cool, so I will definitely be taking a look. There, there is so many other anime. I'm scrolling through this right now. Mayonaka Punch is another one that I kind of had on my list, but I'm not going to be watching that. I, I think this is it. I think this is everything I'm going to be watching. I don't want to pick up too many series because then I'm going to have no time to like focus on class or anything like that. So these are the series I'm going to be picking and I might narrow it down when, you know, I start watching them. So if I watch the first episode and I don't really like it, I'll probably drop it. So just giving everyone a heads up. Anyways, if you guys want more anime content, manga content, make sure you follow, subscribe. Peace out, everyone. Have a good day. Bye-bye.